In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a few more features of Raphael.js. Um, the first is, how do you put this uh, Raphael paper into a div? Well, I'm going to make a div, id of paper. I'll give it some style. I'll give it a width of 400 and a height of 400 and I'll center it horizontally now rather than specifying XY coordinates and width and height inside uh, my Raphael function I'm just gonna say paper and it knows to place the paper inside the div and size it accordingly You can see now it's centered So, the first thing I want to show you um, in terms of shapes is something called path. So, if I want to create a new path, I can say move to 100, 100, line to 200, 200. So, it moves to 100, 100 and draws a line to 200, 200. Because of this line to or this L command, I can add additional points. So I could say uh, 250, 300. And I could say 300, 100. And I can continue on with these line twos. Here I've created, uh, let me just comment out the first one so it's not so confusing. Let's go to 300, 300. Here I've created what's called a Catmull ROM spline. Um, basically I move to 10, 100, and then I uh, go with my Catmull ROM spline to 200, 200, 400, 300, 250, and 300, 300. And a Catmull ROM will just intersect all those points with a nice spline. Um, we also have uh, cubic Bezier curves and quadratic Bezier curves that you can use. Uh, additionally, there are, there are arcs. And uh, if you lowercase these values, they become uh, relative instead of absolute uh, uh, values. So I'm going to create a simple line, but I'm going to do something kind of interesting with it. So this line has three points. It's got one here, one in the center, and one at the end. So if I were to um, increase this y value, I'm going to get a V shape. Knowing that, I can animate this path's path attribute to that v-shape. Over the course of, say, one second, elastic. If I want to close this shape, I can just put a lowercase z like so, and it'll close the path. On a Catmull ROM spline, um, it will end up making kind of a blob shape. So those are the basics of paths. Now, one of the coolest features of Raphael is something called a set. So if you want to create um, sort of a compound graphic or, or a grouped graphic, you use a set. And you do this by saying p.setStart p.setStart 
set finish. And set finish returns the new set, so we'll store that into a variable. We'll call it btn for button. And on my paper, I'm going to create a circle. Let's make it at like 50, 50 with the radius of 20. And I'll give it a gradient fill. And now, in the same spot, I'll add some text. Now, because I said set start before I created these two shapes and said set finish here, button is a reference to the compound object. Um, so I can then say button animate um, transform rotation 180. And we want to do that over the course of one second. Very, very powerful stuff. So this is the end of the second tutorial on Raphael.js. And I think I'll probably do a third part sometime soon.